Hey guys, Shane from Behold here. Today I'm going to go over creating an encounter on D&D Beyond. So here I am on my D&D Beyond campaign that I've made specifically for these videos. Uh, you can see here on the top right of the screen is a create encounter button and this will make it a lot easier for me to track how this encounter will affect my players in the game and you'll see why in just a moment. So once I click that button, it pulls you up to the encounter page. You can name your encounter, so we will call this Deadly Encounter. And so once I have that in there, you can see it gives me everything I need. It tells me which campaign I'm creating this encounter for, the number of characters in that campaign, also it gives me the average party level. So if you have characters that are different levels in the party, it'll help you give you an average of what those uh, character levels are. I can also manage characters, so if I'm going to drop in a character and I know that they're going to be there, I can do that as well. Uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, so here you can see I've already got some filters set up. I usually do this as just standard for my campaigns. Uh, so if you click on this filters button, you can see I keep it so it remembers all my filters. You can choose from monster type, the environment you're running in, uh, the sources that you're using. Uh, so this would include things like the Dungeon Master's Guide and Monster's Manual, uh, Volo's Guide. You can see I've got all kinds of different things. I don't select the adventure modules in here because that's when you end up with a lot of the named uh, NPCs and bad guys. I like to keep it pretty straightforward when I design an encounter. A lot of times if I'm using a named NPC, it's a homebrew, so it's something that I create myself. Uh, I'll pull on those for just inspiration, but for the most part I like to run it on my own. Uh, so we'll close that up. You can also limit to alignment, homebrew, and you can select the challenge rating and size of all creatures that you want to select from. Uh, in the advanced filter, you can see armor class. So if, say, I want enemies that are easy to hit but really strong, I can change those up. So I can select a lower armor class range and maybe a higher hit point range. I can also do immunities, uh, condition damage immunities. Uh, I can find monsters that have lairs, legendary uh, creatures, things like that. I can go even deeper into selecting what kind of languages they speak. So if I want to have more of a social encounter, you can do that as well. This doesn't really measure uh, encounters in that sense. It more is geared towards combat. Uh, but you can select all of these different things in this uh, filters. You also have everything from resistance, senses, skill proficiencies, vulnerabilities, all kinds of different things that you can choose from when you're looking for monsters to select in here. So let's pick monsters for our encounter. So I'll come back to filters and all I want is challenge rating, let's say one quarter or less. This will reduce the amount of options I have. Uh, so let's say, yeah, let's go for the apprentice wizard. Let's choose the apprentice wizard. I can click on that name and it'll pull up the page which includes uh, their stat block. Or if you wanted to just keep it on the same page, all the way on this side, the arrow down opens it up for you right there on the same page. Also on here you can take a look, it tells you the type of creature you're uh, putting into the encounter. It gives you the size and the challenge rating. Uh, another great feature I think is this difficulty of the encounter. Uh, these four dots kind of tell you exactly how difficult this creature on its own will be for this encounter. Uh, when you add to this, you'll see in just a second that that will adjust when you're seeing the overview of the encounter you created. So let's go ahead and add this apprentice wizard. Oh, we'll take off this null witherling. So this apprentice wizard here at a quarter challenge rating uh, is an easy difficulty to overcome. All right, so you can also adjust from here. You can add or subtract the number of uh, creatures that you're putting into the encounter. So if we add one more apprentice wizard, it changes the difficulty to deadly. Uh, but let's bring him down and we'll say this wizard also has with him an animated knife. 
So you can see here the animated knife from the Explorer's Guide to Wild Mount. It's only a 1 8th challenge rating. So let's add and see how that adjusts the encounter. Perfect. So it keeps it at hard. It's not quite a deadly encounter, uh, but these two creatures combined uh, create a harder difficulty for the encounter. Uh, so let's keep that as it is. You can add, subtract creatures as you go. So let's see if we add one more. Yep, turns it into a deadly encounter. Uh, so the animated knife we'll keep there. The apprentice wizard we will keep there. And we, that is our encounter. So your player is going to encounter the apprentice wizard with an animated knife. Now we come up to the top here and we'll go take a look at the summary of the encounter. Here you can just do this for your own benefit. You can write up a short summary and you can describe exactly what you want the encounter to be and save that encounter. So here you can see a summary of my encounter. It shows you the wizard and the knife. It gives you just the CR and XP. It shows you the difficulty of the encounter. So that's it for the encounter builder beta. Be sure to check in with us because next I'll be doing a video showing you how to run this encounter on D&D Beyond using that little button right over there. Thank you guys for watching the video. Be sure to visit BeholdGamers.com. There's still time to sign up for our February Adventure Guild. You can do that. It's for kids ages 9 to 14. Uh, be sure to check in with our Twitch stream Saturday morning War Tunes every Saturday at 9. February we're going to be taking a little bit of a different schedule, but you can check in with our Twitch stream at that. Thank you guys very much, and as always, have fun, learn lots.